jack the wheel on the beginning there and pull it. That's not going to run. I don't think it's going to run. It's still right nice up. And I don't think, just based on the arc, the arc of the stretch of the tyre, and then the, just the way these knuckles work, it's like no rubber. Bob's around. Hello. That's me. It's legal, as is this, but mm, that's just fucking tough as, tough as, mate. Sweet. I'm just gonna get off the blocks and maybe we'll take it for a spin. some noises coming from the rear end, some kind of knocking noises that, that just came and went and I went in and under the parcel shelf and I just tried to tighten up those top bolts on those two new coilovers but they were fine. I then removed everything out of the boot and threw it in my car. We've got to get that shit back out of my car before we go. And the knocking was less but it, it still happened and it happened like when you were turning corners and it sounded like it wasn't coming from high in the rear, it was coming from low in the rear. And having a look, there's a little, there's a little puddle right under the diff of, of fluid. So I'm thinking the diff is a car's two-way. If it's been leaking, then there's not that much fluid left in it. Maybe it's making extra noise. It's always been really noisy. So I think the next step is put new fluid in the diff. I think car's diffs require a certain type of fluid. So I need to do some research. But other than that, it's the most gangster car I've ever 
for my hats on. I don't know if there's bias, but I love it so much. I think the stance is crazy. Maybe we can do some spaces in the front, babe. Just, you know, just knock it out a little bit. And then eventually, yeah, we start doing seat time, getting seat time, and put some knuckles in it, and then Anyway, yeah, good work today. <laughs> It's a new night. I am currently draining the diff oil. Michelle bought some new diff oil here. Some proper cars, LSD fluid. This is a cars two way. It was super clunky the other day and felt like it was knocking. Um, you might have heard in the video. So I'm just doing new fluid, but a spanner in the works has occurred. My car, I uh, parked it in this car spot, which isn't actually a guest spot, that's someone's spot. And look at this shit. So obviously I've driven in from there, come straight here and I've done a couple, couple maneuvers to get into here. But my fucking oil cooler. This fitting here, oh man, has I don't fucking understand what's happened, but under my bar, like, I'll have to pull it apart later. Yeah, summons fucking, summons happened. I don't know what, but I'm super lucky that I caught it. It is uh, currently eight o'clock. Michelle lives like 40 minutes from me. I have an appointment tomorrow morning to get new steer tires at 8 a.m. So I've got a bit of work to do tonight. Hopefully I don't lose my mind. Right, we'll get there. Wish me luck, retrospectively. There is oil everywhere. Everywhere underneath my car. That's the thermos, that's the sandwich plate. All there is dry. Then these two motherfuckers these two fittings here and the one under there. Uh, I have no idea what's happened, but they seem to both have just burst. And it is not looking good. So I'm going to delete the whole oil cooler setup now. Yeah, basically put it back to stop, stock. The oil cooler itself is, is mad. It's a Phoenix thing. Fuck, I wonder if it's, it's so weird that both of them have gone. I'm going to investigate this. Michelle's car's done. So just drained, refilled the diff with fluid. It was a bit of a nightmare because I was using a, in there, I was using a pump. That's for like big, uh, like drums of oil. And it was a bit awkward squeezing that under the car and having it in there. So I was like holding that, making sure that didn't fall over, blah, blah, blah. So that's, Back on the ground, I found a minor leak in the, the sump plug. It's like a tiny leak. Crank that up a bit with a, my spanner, hoping that it doesn't keep leaking, but I will get Michelle to monitor that. Yeah, so this car's booked in for an alignment on Saturday. I don't think we'll be driving it till then, so I'm hoping that the fresh oil is the issue. Didn't actually get a shot of the diff fluid, but the old diff fluid looked quite clear. Like, it didn't look too bad. Um, it wasn't heaps different from the new fluid that I put in, so I am hoping that... <sighs> I'm hoping that that's all good. Yeah, currently it's... Now I'm going to delete the oil cooler on my car. What I think's happened is I was flying on the way here, going pretty quick, and I must have like hit a dip, because there is a big dip that's like coming up to Michelle's place here. Um, I reckon I've just pumped that dip and because the fittings are on the bottom of the cooler, they're hanging quite low and the suspension, even though it's like coiled, it's still quite soft, just must have just scraped it because that would explain why both fittings are leaking at the same time. So yeah, this is gonna be fucking sick, bro. I'm in for a big night. I reckon this will take me like an hour to delete the cooler. 
oil is going to go absolutely everywhere. I'm going to be covered in shit. Michelle's going to be in her pajamas. She's going to walk out. She's going to be like, the f And I'm going to be like, VQ life, brother, VQ life. Well, we got this guy off. We got the filter off by hand. Thank God we didn't lock tight that guy on. I was able to wrench it off quite awkwardly with that guy. These are just all 10 mil hardware, got that off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I always pack the boot for emergencies, but I didn't actually expect to ever need to use everything, but I have used like, used everything today. Anyway, yeah. Sandwich plate off. Just the stock standard Ryko filter on. All done. Bars back on. I'm just gradually topping up and checking the oil because it did, it did lose quite a lot. It was like well below the empty mark when I checked it. Obviously, when I pulled the sandwich plate off, it did drop a bunch of oil. But yeah, hopefully when I start her up, there's no knocking or nothing. Just gotta go ahead and cover up the S14 and pack all this back into the workmobile. The work rig, mate, the work ute. Yeah, pretty good. Should be home just after midnight. We got the new fucking Zestinos. Semi slick. Well, I'm good. Currently what I'm running, big gap in the bar, zip tie to hold the under thingies on, these ties look tough as. The stance is a lot meaner now because drop the tire size heaps so the actual front of the cars come down heaps too. Yep, 235-40-18, old size was 245-45, car is running mint, um, I feel fried but we made it, we're alive. <laughs>